Empty store shelves, we are finding out, are starting to trickle down now to our area food banks. There's a lot of need, and there's a trickle-down effect when we see what's been going on at the run on grocery stores. Uh, food charities are now seeing smaller deliveries. That's the tough side of what's happening, while at the same time, delivering more food to more people. There's a greater need, but less on the supply end. We had Jason Allen out this afternoon looking around, getting some answers for us. He is in Fort Worth at this hour. Uh, Jason, you discovered also, I'm told, that they have fewer people now to do the work, i.e. volunteers, it sounds like. Right, Doug. There are no public volunteers that are allowed into the building right now here at the Tarrant Area Food Bank. They are working on trying to hire temporary staff, people who have been laid off from restaurants in the last week. But that comes at an extra cost at a time, as you mentioned, when there is extra demand from a community that is in need. Area Food Bank pulled in their marketing team, their development professionals, their administrators Wednesday to pack emergency food boxes to hand out at area schools. This is on top of deliveries to food pantries, up 35%, and a hint from grocery store chains that food donations could be dropping. Depending on how long this thing lasts and how long we have to be in this mode, that could be quite costly for Terran Area Food Bank. The long lines of people clearing shelves of meat and produce at stores means there has been little left over to give away to food banks. Community Enrichment Center in North Richland Hills was getting about a quarter of what it usually receives from stores. Extra trucks from the food bank have helped to serve as many people in a week as they usually do in a month, but they're not sure what's ahead. People that really are going to need it in a couple of weeks, we don't know what the supply is going to be there. We don't know what the demand is going to be. Other pantries told us they've run out of milk and eggs. They've moved to pre-packed boxes to preserve supplies, and we're closely watching budgets. With regular partners like churches also preparing to see less money available for community ministries. We are having to replace volunteers, unpaid volunteers, with temporary contract labor. And that's going to cost us about $15,000 a week that we're not budgeted for and we don't have the funds for. Every organization that I talked to today had some concern about the financial need that is ahead. They all believe that the supply chain is going to balance itself out here in the short term, but they really don't know what the need is going to be like in the long term as this continues to go on. We're live in Fort Worth tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.